Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay and welcome to my back garden and the entrance to my garden cabin. Now I thought what I'd do today is a bit of a treadmill test. Now I've had a few discussions with my friends like Stephen Cousins and Matt Reese, the Welsh runner, about the difference between running on a treadmill and running outside, especially using the stride foot pod. So what I thought to do today is to test where I run for a certain length of time on the treadmill, head straight out around the block and run, try and run exact same speed around the block and then come in and run on the treadmill and so on and so forth. So I think I'll try and run a mile on the treadmill at 13.8 kph, which is more or less exactly a seven minute mile. That's roughly about my marathon pace at the moment. Since I'm a bit unfit, I think it's a pace that I can maintain a, a sort of a reasonably hard effort, but not, not actually kidding myself. And it's also, it's quite cold out today, so I need to be running quite fast outside to actually keep myself uh, from uh, freezing. So I've got my shorts on. So. I'll do a little warm up on Swift and we'll get going with the first mile at 13.8 and see how we go. See you later then. So here I am on my first lap, turning in the first lap, average pace, bang on seven minute mile pace. So I think the power's a bit higher and the heart rate's a bit higher. Okay, so the end of this triple run, coming in last triple run. Let's show them the pen here. Here, I'd say. <laughs> so I had to forego the third and final run outside because Mrs. G uh, locked the back gate and got out. So I can't get out. So <laughs> anyway, it's getting a bit cold. I think I've got enough data actually to have a meaningful analysis. I think from reflection, I was probably the power is definitely higher outside, but you kind of expect that because I had a, that course is around the block is not entirely flat. And of course, there's pretty still today, but there's obviously some air resistance. So I think time for my spreadsheet and let's uh, review the data later when I've put it all together. OK, see you later. Bye. Hello, everybody. Just showing you the course I did outside around my block. So I started here at the green dot more or less outside my house. And it's sort of fairly flat for a little bit. And then you turn a left, it goes down a very slight rise. And then it's sort of flat along Telegraph Lane, basically. And then it rises back up and again on Red Lane. It's only about like a 1% hill, but you do notice a bit of a rise there. And back again and repeat twice for the notional miles, a bit short of a mile. The, uh, the Strava segment there is 0.46, so it's probably about 0.47 by the time I've actually joined the dots. So yeah, a good more or less mile run for this sort of test doesn't need to be exact. So here's my customary spreadsheet of the results, just to take you through, remind you what I did here. So I did five runs all together, notionally a mile each back to back. I just literally the time to change over. So I started off on the treadmill on Zwift at 13.8 kph, which is exactly a seven minute mile, which is more or less my marathon pace at the moment, I'd say. My actual marathon pace in February was 6.45, but I had a calf tear in September and I've only just been recovering, so I'm not fully back to full, full fitness yet so i thought seven minute mile pace was a good um, speed to do and also it was quite easy then to look at it on the watch so a mile on swift nipped outside two laps around the block and then repeat two more times i was intending to do the last one outdoors but so my wife wanted to go out so she locked the back door so uh it's a couple of my plans but it was getting a bit dark and cold by then i think this sort of illustrates the point so what are we seeing here so i've 
put this down into in these in these columns here treadmill slash gps these are the distances as recorded from the actual treadmill and the actual from gps and then in this column here this is the actual distances recorded from the stride so you can see here according to the treadmill i actually ran just over a mile on the first one and it was obviously the exact pace because it was constant whereas the stride only got that 0.97 of a mile so just slightly slower which is quite common you see on the treble it does seem to under read now some say that's because it's measuring your actual speed well but anyways just want to put these numbers out there to illustrate now outside on this particular test it actually did pretty much exactly I didn't have any calibration factor applied here but yes you can see that the distances from the gps and the stride were pretty much identical so outdoors i tried to replicate the speed as close as possible to a seven minute mile i had a lap pace going on my watch and just tried to see if i could run as close to that as possible because it's slightly undulating outside i felt it was slightly harder though given the fact you've got that all that extra coolness outside i mean it wasn't it wasn't warm inside on the treadmill because i had the door open i had the fan on max but i definitely noticed when i came back inside that it was you could feel it was just a bit more warmer inside and wearing shorts inside was a lot nicer than say uh, wearing a short sleeve top and shorts outside so if we look at the heart rates, obviously on the first one, I'd, I'd done a warm up, so I had I'd raised my heart rate a, a bit, but obviously you're going to get a bit of heart rate drift. So the fact that the heart rate is low, low on the first treble one is to be expected. So when I went outside, I had a heart rate average of 134. And as you can see, coming in, going out and coming in again, it was all pretty similar, actually. So in terms of the heart rate response, you would say that's more or less the same. Now if you move over to the power, now I think because it was so still outside, literally had a one mile an hour wind according to Garmin Connect. So I didn't actually register any air power at all, which is probably about right considering it was pretty much still. But interestingly, I had about 10 watts extra power outside. Or maybe not even that because that's only about 7 watts. So between 7 and 10 watts extra. But I think you could argue that the extra power outside was to have to negotiate the fact that I had to go up a little rise. Whereas on the treadmill, I was at 0% and it was just perfectly constant. So in that sense, you'd expect that to be slightly less. Just the fact that the outdoors is marginally harder. Now, a really interesting thing, the difference between outside and inside is look at my cadence there. On the treadmill, it was 174 or 175 and outdoors, it was 181 both times. So that ties with my feeling that when I run outside, I've always got a cadence of about six steps per minute higher which is very interesting and then but if you then move on to the ground contact time especially the stride figure here virtually exactly the same ground contact time according to the stride on every the runs whether they're indoor or outdoor and the garments were pretty similar as well but the big difference is that if you look at the vertical oscillation so i was actually then dancing a lot more seemingly on the treadmill than i was outside which kind of makes sense because i suppose the treadmill i've got a my run technology in treadmill obviously treadmills have a bit more of a springy sort of nature to them in a relative term whereas obviously outside it's more of a tarmac base so you can definitely see the na different nature of the course there and i think that's reflected in the leg st uh, spring stiffness which is a metric i never really don't really understand but you can see that uh, very constant values inside and very different values outside but obviously it's just the same me and the fact i've got the same ground contact time suggests i was running the same more or less the same heart rates and the power was more or less the same as i said that those little rises outside my account for that so what do i take from this well i think basically i'd say that this more or less confirms as i've done on a couple of extra videos that if i run inside on my treble at 0 percent it's pretty reasonably approximates to how i would go outside so i know some people's treadmills seem to be vastly different i know matt reese with his noble pro treadmill seems to go much faster on the treadmill according to it than he's um than effectively would do outside so it's sort of a bit of thumbs up to the actual calibration of the my run technology treadmill i think so that's good. So I think maybe I need to do this on a, a day when there's a bit more wind about to see whether that has any effect. But I think another confirmation for me that my treadmill and outdoors is fairly similar. The only big thing is there's just different massive difference in cadence. And is that does that mean that my style somehow is so different inside and it's not replicating the same sort of running? So I need to work out why that cadence is so different because I feel like I'm running the same way, but obviously it's not coming out the same way. So why is that? Comments below. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you found this interesting and look forward to seeing the next one then. Okay, bye.